welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops. I love the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops. I'm just going to tell you guys a little bit about them before we get into the demo. First off, you can find them at Sephora for $44. So it is a little bit pricey. I would highly recommend that you guys get a sample first because first off, I bought it. The shade was a little bit too light and it didn't work well with any of my foundations. It didn't change the color for anything. It made it too light for me. By the way, I am in the color G40. They do have, um, I think, P and N G. P stands for pink undertones and neutral and G, of course, golden undertones. So I went with the more golden ones because first I looked at my collection that I have and I noticed that a lot of my foundations were a little bit too neutral for my skin and that's why I wasn't using a lot of them. So I decided to go with a golden undertone so that way it kind of warms up the foundation, gives it a little bit of that yellow olive undertone so that way it matches me perfectly. So definitely look at the foundations that you have, pay attention to what you need, and then also look at your own undertone of your skin because I didn't want something too neutral or pink because I am more of a golden yellow olive undertone. I'm going to be using it with my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation here. And I don't reach for this foundation all the time, one, because it's just a little bit too light and a little bit too neutral. But once I put one to two drops of this into my foundation, it's the perfect shade. It's the foundation I'm wearing on today. It matches perfectly to my neck and to the rest of my body. As you'll see in the video, I only put about one to two drops of the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops. I feel like if you put any more than that, you can definitely put, put more than that. But I like to put just one to two in a foundation because then it, it already is going to maximize your coverage and give you full, full coverage. You have to remember that this is like pure pigment of foundation. So if you wear this by yourself, it's going to give you like max full coverage. So if that's something that you like, you, this can double as your foundation as well. Personally, it is not my favorite to use as a foundation by itself. You can use this with sunscreen, your moisturizer. Anytime that you want, you could put in as many drops as you want. I would just put like one to two and you could basically make your own tinted moisturizer out of it, which is really great because then you don't have to, you have like a multi-use product. I would personally only recommend like max four drops, but again, you can use whatever you're comfortable with depending on how much coverage that you want. Say you have a tinted moisturizer that you love and you just want it to have a little bit more coverage, maybe to cover a breakout or redness or whatever, and the, and the tinted moisturizer just isn't doing enough, but you don't want to buy a full coverage foundation, just put one drop of this and it's going to make a huge, huge difference in it. So there are plenty of ways that you guys can use this. You also want to make sure that you shake it up really well before you put a drop of it on. I'm going to show you guys what just two drops of this looks like. Full coverage, as you guys can see, it's very golden. A little bit of this goes a very long way. So as you guys can see, it's very full coverage, very smoothly. Um, and if you guys don't mix it up before you use it, it can, some oil can come out of it. So make sure you guys are just shaking it up before you use it. But the coverage on this, guys, is just so good. Like, look how nice and smooth it makes my hand look. It's just so pretty. I, even though I have so many other foundations, I find myself mixing this in a lot of my foundations to make it more golden, especially for the summer when I am, when I do have a little bit more color. Enough talking about that. I hope this is helpful for you guys. If you guys have any questions about this product, let me know in the comments down below and I'll be sure to answer them for you. And without making you guys wait any longer, let's go ahead and get in the demo. So to give you guys the best example of how to use the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops, I'm going to be using my Luminous Silk Foundation from Giorgio Armani. And the reason why I'm using this foundation is because it's just a tad bit too light for me and just a little bit too neutral. But so what I'm going to do is adjust the color of this foundation by adding in my Cover FX um, Custom Cover Drops. As I mentioned before, I am in the shade G40, which, which the G stands for. It has a more golden undertone. This is what the foundation looks like alone. This is what the foundation looks like alone. This is what it looks like with the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops. Hopefully the camera is picking it up where 
you can see how much more golden and olivey and yellow tone this one is whereas this one's a little bit lighter and more neutral so you can really see the difference in color so all I do is I did one pump of this foundation you want to make sure that you shake this up very very well before you go ahead and insert a drop into your foundation because if you don't it could come out very oily so another thing is is that this can get very very messy as you guys can see the foundation tends to gather up around the edge of it and it's all over the bottle so make sure after every time you use it that you're just wiping it up so that way it doesn't end up spilling or you waste it or anything like that. I do one pump of my regular foundation and then depending on how much color adjusting I need to do I will pretty much only put one to two drops of this. Now if it's like a super light foundation sometimes I'll put three or four but on average I only do one or two. So I'm going to go ahead and stipple this onto my beauty blender and go ahead and start applying it to my face. I always like to start off with a little bit of foundation first. So start off little by little because like I said, I've done it before where I've made way too much foundation on the back of my hand and it just goes to waste. I end up wiping it off and we don't want that. So just make a little bit at a time and then you could go back and make more. The foundation only gives me medium coverage but, but by adding two drops of the Cover FX custom cover drops it like intensifies the foundation so that way it's full coverage. So I'm going to go ahead with another pump and a half. I'm going to go in with two drops of the Cover FX custom cover drops. So I just finished my whole makeup, my lips, my blush, everything. So I just wanted to finish up this video for you guys. I really do enjoy using my Cover FX Custom Cover Drops. I really don't have anything bad to say about it except for it's very, very messy. And that's pretty much the only thing. But other than that, I love Cover FX Custom Cover Drops. And I think the only other thing is that it's tricky to find like your perfect shade. And I think it's great because if you don't want to keep buying new foundations for summer, just get a darker shade for this and drop it in your foundation that you use all year round, all year round and you have like the perfect summer foundation shade. So I really do love it and I think it's a great staple to have in your makeup collection. So if you haven't tried it out yet, I highly recommend that you guys do. I really hope this video was helpful for you guys and you guys learned something from my video today. If you guys did, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you guys all in my next video.